Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Cinema Roblox. Roblox is fun and all, unless you're broke and digging everywhere, you can just scrape up a couple Robux. One quick way to make some cash is by planting some fruits or vegetables which will grow. Later, you can sell these whenever you need cash, and it's pretty foolproof, unless you're unable to take care of them and fail. It's not super easy, though, to gather multiple seeds, but once they're in your possession, it'll all be worth it, and your Roblox bank balance will be skyrocketing as soon as your fruits or vegetables grow. Let's talk about how to get berry seeds in Skyblox Roblox. Number 1. Harvesting Berries from Bush This is probably the most straightforward method. You simply have to go to your island and locate a fully grown bush that has seeds on it. Unfortunately, it may seem easy at first, but the entire act of finding bushes to harvest seeds from is tedious. It may not always result in a lot of seeds since they are quite rare. The drop rate of the berries is quite low and the spawn rate is very slow, hence the rarity within the game. However, if luck is on your side, this method should work. Unfortunately, you start with only one bush, and unless you're able to aggregate multiple, your chances are going to fall significantly using the harvest option. Berry bushes, why would you ever want to use- Number two, trade with a friend or seller. Another method that's much quicker than the one above is to find a friend who has a berry or two in their possession. This won't be free though, they'll probably ask you to pay for them in Roblox currency or gold, which you must have an abundance of. We've mentioned the rarity above, so you can expect some pretty steep prices. Don't think they'll go easy on you just because you're friends. Oh, and make sure you're asking people who genuinely are interested in selling or trading, otherwise a strain may develop on your relationship. You can also check the chat boxes every now and again to see if a stranger is looking to trade their own seeds. Usually people will readily accept deals, even if they're not your friends. Just make sure to add them as a friend in-game so the transfer can take place. And on my main would just take me probably a month to destroy. <laughs> so I had to use an alt so that all, all this island has. Number three, have a friend make a new account. If you're unable to find someone to trade with, you can utilize this technique. Ask a friend of yours who doesn't play the game to make an account, and seeing as every new player gets at least one bush seed, you can ask them to give it to you and leave the game forever after that if they don't want to continue playing. To do this, they will need to use an axe to upheave the bush from the ground, and then they can give you the seed. This may prove to be the easiest and cheapest method because they probably won't know how important the seed is, so won't fuss over giving it over for free. It's not the fastest, but it gets the job done, and you can always help them get a feel for the game. Who knows, they might be fall in love with Roblox, just as millions others have. I am so grateful for him, he, he he he's always hooking it up. Number 4, get a starter pack or VIP rank. Roblox sells starter packs for approximately 200 Robux, which will give you everything that people receive upon first opening a, a game. Yes, that means it will give you a seed as well. If you can't find someone to trade with for less Robux, this may not be your worst bet. Of course, Roblox also sells other sets, such as a VIP rank one for 400 Robux, which comes with way more perks. There's a VIP chat prefix, double harvest chance, golden portal frame, and extra coins. The double harvest chance can be used on your bushes to find more seeds. Please leave this for after the other methods, because unless you desperately need the other amenities, it's quite expensive. But hey, I won't tell you how to spend your Robux. Just between you and I though, VIP rank set is definitely a good long-term investment idea. Number 5, create a brand new profile. Similar to requesting a friend and getting a starter pack, this point focuses on, you guessed it, creating a brand new account. We've covered that new users receive the bushes when they first go into the game, so by doing so you'll get a berry bush that you can use to harvest seeds from. Then you can transfer these seeds to the account you wish as a gift and voila, berry seeds accumulated. One con of this, however, is that it's very dull because it's going to take a while to get a new account set up. Then, some more time to verify it and all. The other ideas have quicker results, but of course, if all else fails, this one will be 100% success rate. Well, there we have it. Five ways on how you can get berry seeds in Roblox. This may take you a while, but after finally getting some seeds in your grasp, your Robux will always be increasing, and you will not have to fear about going bankrupt in the game. Make sure to save up for cool new items and features as Roblox keeps adding those all the time. For onions, you should just spend that time on berry bushes because the cool thing about berry bushes is you don't. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.